right, good evening everybody. Today's video, Diamond C trailer. Finally got my eyes on one and nothing but impressed with that Larry. But before the video actually starts, I want to give a special big thanks to Jim down there at Global Machinery. Outstanding. He is just the man. He sets the bar when it comes to great customer service and just being an outstanding human being. So thank you, Jim. Uh, how this video unfolded is, yes, we did buy a new machine off him, and that will come later. You'll see it in this video. But what he did above and beyond that is I plan on picking up the machine myself later on this week once we had a little bit of free time. And uh, while I was out of town, him and my dad, they coversed and came up with the idea to bring the machine up uh, Monday, right after we got off work, and surprised me with it. What really tipped the scales on it is he had uh, Arthur at 10X Transport bringing up, and he's pretty much the only guy in this whole area uh, that I have seen or know of, and maybe the Diamond C knows of, that has the exact same trailer that I want to get. And Jim hired him to bring the new machine here. So, brought not only did he bring the new machine, but he brought Arthur with his brand new Diamond C trailer. So, this is the first look. Uh, my first impression of what I feel is one of the or the best trailer brands on the market. So go ahead and enjoy this video and uh, I'll catch up with you at the end. Oh, holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most uh, coming off of an exciting weekend. It completely. <laughs> well, to start off with Jim from Prime Tech, he completely surprised me and uh, it it took the whole week all my plans of everything for these videos and it completely transformed it but we're gonna start off the list uh, he had Arthur from 10x transport there's my trailer right there well it's his but I mean <laughs> this is the trailer that I want to buy right here diamond C 10 foot or I mean gosh dang I can't even talk right now but 20 foot deck and then their dovetail is uh, 12 foot so however that works out to 32 foot trailer but man hydraulic dovetail he's got the upgraded suspension he said they had to get the the spread for the 16k axles but he's got the hydraulic drum brakes uh his only complaint with this whole setup right now is he's got a 12 ford and he says it needs a little bit more power he hauled the prime tech with it once and uh for global and he doesn't have an exhaust brake so but if you guys want to check him out, it's just 10X Transport on Instagram. I'll put it right below so you guys can check out his page. But this is brand new. It's fully loaded. He did not hold back at all when it came to this trailer when he ordered this thing. You know, he's got these all over the place. But I'm really, really liking how this whole thing looks. Engineered frame. But check out this thing right here. Look at the box. Look at all that room. He's got 20 freaking binders in there. It's got a brace. It's arched. Oh, I can't even push it down. It is just something else. I can't even really put into words how excited I am about this whole thing. Because I wanted to meet up with Arthur so I could check out his trailer. And then, well, they brought the new machine up here for us. And to top it off, Jim's got his brand new Dodge over there. Where to start? Where to start? Now, buying this trailer right here, this thing is like exceeding what a truck can really hang with. But dang, let's go into it. What he did is he's got the dual speed jacks on the front here. Uh, and they're the heavy duty ones. This is way thicker than your standards. Got his cross bracing on this thing. He got them one, one foot, 12 inch spreads rather. He said these are standard which is nice those things are out of the way nobody's gonna come and bump into those things when you're doing your business and then it's got one halfway here yeah one thing about he did he drove over a binder with a dozer or something on there and dented her but how they have their hinge instead of being all the way back here longer dovetail that means that the ramp is not as steep when you're loading your machines Let's go ahead and climb up here. It feels about the same height as mine. I'm not gonna put the ramp and step down for it. Kind of like that, rather having the spare tucked away. Ooh. I think he said that was a 17,000 pound winch in there. That looks a little bit beefier than 
what I'm running. And these shocks are, oh, Jesus. Let's see if here we can find a weight on it. Another nice thing too, it's got a whole bunch of these rather than mine, just stick pockets so you can actually wrap a chain around it. Let's see if we can find the data tag here. Where are we at? <sighs> Empty weight. What? 52, 5,300 pounds. I talked to Jacob down there and he said this trailer, he specced one of them out. They actually weighed it, it weighed uh, 7,600 pounds. But this is freaking money. Got the good latch right there. A freaking heavy duty one with a double safety. Good, good stuff right there. Big fan. I think I would go black on mine, but. Man, there's just so much going on right now to even get going with it. These are stowed away pretty nice. Shoot. Engineered frame. He's got a controller remote for the dovetail here. I'll have him fire that up. He said he put the Prime Tech on here. And uh, this trailer is arched. You know, the engineered frame, the fleet neck, or engineered beam rather, and it's arched. You can see the dovetail sticks up a little bit more. He strapped to the dovetail. That thing didn't move because it's self-locking. And he said this trailer did not sag. Even mine with those heavy eye beams, that thing freaking sags. Man. It'd be nice just to hook this thing up to my truck and give her a rip, but. Hey, Arthur, you want to hit the button for me? See how this bad Larry works? Bet you missed those big old bulky ramps, huh? God. That's the same thing that's on the dump trailer. What, did you step on it already? Uh, I don't know what happened to it. I broke it somehow. I just put super glue on it. <laughs> Cross they give you a spare? Uh, I think they did. Am I going the right way? Yeah, you just gotta hold it. It goes up and it goes down. Does it have a, a backup switch? Like uh, one in a toolbox or something? Uh, yeah, if you want to go inside, I think it's not going to be inside. Yeah, since it got. Oop. Um, if you open this one, I don't know if you open it. Uh-uh. Just a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the hydraulic uh, brakes, that Dexter thing. Yeah. And then that's the whole system. And Stops then, on a dime, huh? Oh, yeah. It's nice. Unbelievable. And then it also comes with these things that you can just press this button. Uh huh. It shows you the um, the battery um, level, all that kind of stuff, and that that also has that too. Yeah, that is a that's a big old hefty cable on that yeah, winch up there. I, I put uh, roller on it, and it didn't flip and go like. Nyeh. Really? Oh, shoot. <laughs> that did you see the dead prime tech in the back? Uh, no. That we pulled that on there with forklift in my little 12k winch <laughs> with a pulley system, and it. It pulled her up on there, but it was sketchy. Yeah. It was sketchy. I need so. to get a snag block for myself. Yeah, those things, <clears throat> they're worth it. I but. like how you have that system on the rear tire uh, for the air. Where did you get that? Um, you talking that valve stem extender yeah. thing? Just Reeves or O'Reilly or that something? Is, I've never got something because I gotta have two separate things. Yeah. You know, for this one, and then the straight one doesn't reach into there, so I gotta use the flexible one. Yeah, that's. Ex that I just legit. checked all those I the other day. Picture of it, Did so you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. They only had two of them when I was there the other Reeves day, so I only got the one side. One. Yeah, I, I bought it at Reeves here in town, but I'm sure check around the place. But yeah, man, that that thing is not really steep at all. No. How'd it feel driving it? bigger track machine it on there wasn't scary at all. some guys are saying you could drive up on there and hit your remote and level yeah, it out and it I picks up 10k yeah so I mean like smaller stuff you could do but like uh, I already showed up the back holes and all yeah that. you've been using her I'm gonna I have that rubber up there uh-huh the I'm gonna put them over here in the center so this doesn't happen because you know I put an excavator down yeah and it has those things 
That's I had a board, I or not a board, a piece of flat bar that I welded on there. Or not, yeah, yeah, yeah. god dang, I can't even talk. Screwed it down. Uh -huh. But then one day I clipped it and it just tink, popped yeah. it off. But I do rollers and stuff, so I gotta keep it smooth. You keep this thing pretty busy then, huh? Oh yeah, every day. Every day, huh? Yeah. Hell yeah. I lost that thing on the, you know, the grease gun, the fitting thing. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to Napa tomorrow and buy it. Get that and then the valve stem yeah, things. Valve stem too, yeah. Hell yeah. That doesn't take that long at all. No. My other trailer was a lot faster. Well, it opened up like this because it had the PJ uh, oh, power you, tail. Oh, so okay. Pain in the ass. I don't know, you probably noticed that's because nice, if you get into off-road areas, you know, you, you need to have a certain amount of room, mm -hmm. you know, and that was, that just, like, I got to a job site, tried to open it, won't open it. Got to close it back, move forward, keep doing that until I find enough space. Yeah. This thing, I don't have to worry about it, I just drop it. You, have you done it on tilted ground at all? Yeah, Did when I was picking up the Prime Tech. Yeah? Oh, yeah. geez. Because uh, it was all over there off that road, and I couldn't load on the road. And um, and I and when I dropped the other one off because I did a swap, mm -hmm. I went down and it was and I didn't want to load and pull out of there, so I kind of moved up to the side, you know. So but it works good, except for that man, that was my mess up. I had a K seven fifty K dozer. I think it's like twenty two thousand pounds or something, twenty one thousand. Um, and that's how it got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Just ran over a binder. Yeah. Bent Actually, the, bent the flipping uh, binder. Yeah, hand. I was gonna say that it held up pretty good then. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. you got the first ding. I, I know it's gonna happen. I tried to keep it as you know, because this one's gonna, I'm gonna keep for a while. I'm hoping it's my last goose back. Yeah. yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I paid fourteen five for mine out the door. I just what I did my other too. Yeah, it, you know it's like something to get you in the game, but then like a week later you're like, oh, <laughs> probably should have spent some more. But even this one, I mean, more than double that. Yeah. But you know, the oh, suspension, yeah. that's something you can trust. Oh yeah. Compared, did you look at mine? Yeah, you, I had the same one in my other one, but oh, way less springs. <laughs> just a little yinky thing. <laughs> like I, when I have to jackknife it with a load, I'm it's like, oh let, yeah, dude. I was like, let's just let's unload that thing yeah what kind of spare do you think this is it's more than four feet huh that's a yeah that was surprised at how wide that was that's like a what 16 inch maybe no not that much i don't know i wish this trailer i wish this this axle was maybe like on a yeah floor, like at least another foot back i'll have to ask them about that because that's you know that's good for you know highway use all the time yeah, but if yeah, you're yeah. trying to these jack areas, that, this wouldn't be as good. yeah but shoot that ah oh, that just has confidence written all over it though yeah, how special. beefy that is oh, yeah. oh that is just good stuff right there i really like it man they got what the heck's that work they got all kinds of bracing everywhere that's a weight difference just in the trailer empty feel compared to your other trailer same about the same yeah this one's two foot shorter. I had a 32. Uh -huh. This is a 30. Oh, it's 30. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it feels about the same. Actually, I think it might be even the same because I scaled with the 308. I think I was like at 38.5. Uh -huh. And then I did the same move to the same location and there's a farm with the scale. I pulled in, I was 38.2 or something. Just got two, 300 pound difference. What do you think the trailer weighs? Uh, about 8,000 something maybe. Yeah. Because mine weighs 8,500 and it's got half you know the options and it's yeah, yeah. weaker yeah um because putting no the prime tech not so much because i put more on above that tires but yeah, yeah. with the excavator you could tell it's kind of it's kind of sitting down even yeah. with that big old eye beams in there yeah. it says right here that the weight is like 52 something but that's without like the axles yeah that that's how i was like oh that's, that seems a little light yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that flatbed looks fresh too uh, I got it in January 2018. That's pretty fresh. Yeah, I don't really uh, put too much stuff on it. We got ran into it with a loader. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> That's that dump trailer. We don't even know where it's at. I think it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. First week I had it. A guy was loading uh, stuff in with a bobcat. And I was just kicking it over, you know, because he couldn't reach far enough. And then he's like, oh, I'll get that. And he squished the hubcap. And then I was like, oh, okay. And then I looked later. 
completely square fenders, you know, brand new. You can't kink, kink oh. one in. So every time I look at that now, I'm always looking at that. I have one guys thing. when they load up the fork with mother shell, some guy just runs into the stuff. Oh, no. So I tell guys, I'm like, hey. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a, yeah, it's still a diamond, all right, yeah, easy exactly. on it. Some guys, I'm like, let me fucking do it, you know? Yeah, right? <laughs> what, did you look at any other trailer brands before you went with them? Yeah, I was about to go with, um, uh, Load, Load Show, Load yeah. Hatch, whatever it's called. What made you swing? Uh, just, I just did a lot of research, yeah. you know, and, um, I like the engineered beam. Yeah. And, uh, the 12 and a half, or 12 foot dovetail, I was like, hell yeah, dude. They got it. Because I hated that. Flipping the mean loading machines, was, you know, and I was like, if I could avoid that, especially when it's raining. Oh, yeah, that's metal, true. Metal, it gets scary. It, like with the track machine, I don't know if it does any help if it came to it, but I put a binder in that stake pocket right there. Oh, that's Let, not a bad idea. Just, so it, from, yeah, yeah, just in case, because yeah, that. I didn't think about that. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but, I you know, it makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, put two of them if not. Yeah. Sketchy. Shoot. Yeah, I don't know. My next move is probably going to be. Uh, 440 uh, Randall. Yeah. With the axle travel all the way forward. You know what to look for. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I don't like that fucking, you know. Like, <laughs> so. I, I was looking into just having a slide axle. I don't know. Max, Max D makes that. Yeah, I don't know if that would hurt your, well, your payload's freaking high with what you got now, so. I don't know you what. Couldn't pay, that thing gets in payload for nothing. I think it was like a 16 or 17. Yeah. With 12k axles or something. I was like, that's for nothing. I can't do that. Yeah. I could. Uh, I'm not even overweight on the payload with that thing. Like that, mm -hmm. you know? That's pretty damn. What's the heaviest you hold? Uh, that. Oh, really? That, I'm going to <laughs> I know my fellow could do it, but that's just for the truck. Yeah. Well, I, it, if you just had exhaust brake, I think that would help you on the downhills. But for power, though. She's just really? screaming, cause I don't. We'll go over there and look at my truck right now. I think we talked about this trailer long enough. Fifteen. So we don't confuse anybody. I am not a trucker hat engaged. Finally got to see a Diamond C trailer up close and personal. Now, comment below your guys' thoughts on the brand and this trailer itself. My opinion. Wow. Attention to detail. The finish work. Innovation the Diamond C brings to the table for their goosenecks it, with the fleet neck, the engineered beam, with the arch in the trailer deck, and then the hydraulic dovetail. It's two feet longer than everybody else on the market. Gives you a smoother loading transition. Tipping point is nowhere near as severe with a track machine cresting on top of the trailer deck. Little things like that go a long ways. And, uh, Dang, this trailer is sweet. Now, I vowed a long time ago I was not going to order a new trailer unless I saw the exact one that I wanted before I took the plunge. Just so happened that Arthur, pretty much every configuration on this thing except for the axles are what I want to order. I will go with 12s on mine because I want the option for hydraulic disc brakes. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more my style and I've been itching to have disc brakes on a trailer ever since I bought mine with drums. Now, he said that's... 16k axles with hydraulic drum brakes he has no issues with stopping with that thing towing the prime tech no problem uh, it's kind of cool to have uh his examples are something that literally i'm going to be towing the same machine so he did say his truck was the only thing that was really holding him back now no offense to ford guys but uh he's just uh screaming up hills he said the truck doesn't quite have the torque to haul the weight that he really wants to so Told him next time he's got a minute and wants to come up, hang out, we can take one of my trucks for a rip and he can experience what uh, the Dodge Diesel with the Cummins and the ISN has to offer on these newer trucks. Uh, you know, just to shed some light on a different brand, shall he choose to upgrade to something different later on down the road. But this trailer video is not the top secret project, uh, nor is the new machine or grandma's truck. That top secret project is big game changer, big life changer everything that's going to be hopefully this weekend i'm not the one postponing it it's paperwork 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 but so finances are a little bit tight right now as far as buying uh anything else so unless i win the lottery or youtube really takes off for me we are gonna have to unfortunately wait to get the new diamond c till later on but 100 percent guarantee you that is the trailer i will be going with everything about it is something i enjoy so, <sighs> Diamond C, 
Keep up the good work. I hope to buy one of these trailers off you guys in the near future. But if you guys are not following them on Instagram, Diamond C, check them out. As well as Arthur at 10X Transport. Give them a shout and let them know Sam at V-Belt and Son sent you their way. But I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through. Nothing but impressed with that Diamond C trailer. It is awesome. Hit that button, like, comment, subscribe, and check out those boys' Instagram. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Later.